Hi, everybody. I'm Professor Tim Spector from the Zoe Health Study. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new app update, which sees us make a make change to the way you log your health every day. Now, reporting daily on your average, on your overall health and any new symptoms each day makes your contribution even more powerful by allowing us to research the early warning signs for illnesses like cancer, heart disease, and dementia, as well as keeping a watchful eye on COVID. So I'm going to go over how to set up your usual self in the new update. And you can follow along uh, in the video next to me uh, so you can see what's happening on my screen as I go through things. So what we're going to do is to, to start is to click the report today button at the bottom of the home page and then read through those introductory screens. Then you'll be given the opportunity to create your usual self which or your unique health baseline is another way of calling it. And you have to indicate any symptoms that you've experienced over the last six months. So, for example, if, if I suffer from fatigue daily, um, but uh, I say this as a low impact on my quality of life, uh, I'd put that in. And in addition, I can say that I suffer from altered vision and experience a double vision on a weekly basis. I put that one in and the impact of this, of my quality of life uh, is medium. Now, I can also say that I suffer from back pain in, and that's in my lower back and that's on a daily basis and the impact of my quality of life is high. And then I just say, well, I don't frequently suffer from any other symptoms as part of my usual self. Now on the final screen, you'll also be able to add any free text in case you couldn't find a symptom on the previous lists, but do try and find them because we do our best to try and include them. And the less we have on that free text, the easier it is for us. So once you're finished, uh, give yourself uh, a big slap on the back. Well done, you've set up your usual self. So you won't have to do that again. To submit your first daily report using the new usual self reporting flow, um, either click the submit your new daily report button straight after the usual self setup, or return to the home page to click the report today button. And the icons indicate this, the impact the symptoms do have on your impact of life, on your quality of life. If you feel the same as your usual self, just select I feel like my usual self, and then it's done. You don't have to do any more. So, as an example, imagine the next day I feel different to my usual self. This is how I would report it. I say, I do not have any new COVID tests to add. I select, uh, I uh, feel different from my usual self. Um, my fatigue is worse, impacting my quality of life more today. So I adjust this uh, by changing the icon. and. I might be experiencing a new symptom. So I add, add new symptom. And this symptom affects my uh, throat and chest. And so I now indicate that today I'm suffering um, so from a hoarse voice. And so I add hoarse voice to my symptoms for today and then select the icon to represent uh, how severely this is affecting my quality of life. And I also indicate that I know the reason for this new symptom. And then you submit uh, your daily report. It's done. There you have it. And you only need to set up your usual self once, and then you can continue to report as usual if there are any new or changed symptoms. Otherwise, it's really dead simple just to keep giving us incredibly useful information. So rest assured, we're still tracking those COVID symptoms, long COVID and the spread through the country and new variants, uh, as well as any new tests uh, and update on fourth vaccines. But this new feature allows us to track and research 
all the long-term health conditions that could be affecting you at the same time. And we're going to do this so we can provide you directly with insights and advice about this and uh, important research so we can fight these diseases in the future. So thanks again for your contributions, without which none of this would be possible. Remember to like and uh, this video, subscribe to our channel, etc. I'd love to see you next week for another data update. And finally, help science and keep logging. Thank you.